So what's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. Last night, yesterday afternoon and last night, we had this really like weird, like fluffy stuff fall from the sky. I don't know if the, the sky is broken or something, but like it left like this white stuff all over the ground. I've never seen this before in my life. You know, this is really, really, really weird. Like it's, it's cold, it's icy, it just makes you kind of want to build a snowman. Look at some of our cars, they're covered in this white stuff. I mean, it's crazy. We are definitely not in Southern California anymore. This is pretty cool. And it's not just a tiny little bit, it's uh, enough to collect somewhat. Look at our olive trees, they're all, you know, the base of them are all covered in snow. This is pretty nuts. You can see some of the cedar trees out there actually look really pretty. But it finally happened, our first snow. That's pretty cool, that's pretty cool. It was cool for like, you know, the first like hour that snowing, snowing, snowing. And then I had to go check on the cows and stuff and it was just like, okay, this is annoying now. <laughs> but hey, our first snow actually officially happened. Let's go, let's go see how the cows did. I mean, it's sticking around. It's like 8.30 in the morning right now. That's somewhat sticking around. Looks pretty cool, just uh, you know, someone who's really never had to experience this stuff it's pretty cool their water is most definitely frozen let's see how thick it is oh, it's not that bad. oh wow yeah it's just more slush than anything it's not bad at all let's see let's go like that help them out they're thirsty they can come over here and get water or they can probably i don't know can cows eat snow i think they can i think i read that they can How's everybody doing? No moosicles today, right? Let's see. What's up, everybody? You can tell. I think you can tell where they slept. <laughs> wow. This is, you know, just a little bit, but cows look like they're all doing fine. Huh. Some of them, it's their first time, like Ruby here, experiencing this stuff. Huh, Ruby? You're like, what is this stuff? sure they're fine eating through this there's tons of you know dormant especially bermuda grass over here so there they should be okay i did feed them some some hay i threw over the fence over there from one of our uh, bales that i broke into how you doing ellie what is this stuff huh what's up yoli huh is this weird for you this is weird for you, huh? There you go, good girl. You're nice and warm, wow. You really are nice and warm. Cows didn't, cows don't mind the snow, it doesn't seem like. Huh, good girl, good girl. It's supposed to get up to like the mid 50s today, so it'll probably burn off in the next, I don't know, maybe hour, hour and a half or so, but it's just kind of cool to see, you know? This is just not something that I ever grew up with. It's just not something that, you know, ever had to deal with. Just, just cool. How about the llamas? You guys do okay in it? They're from the Andes Mountains in South America, where it's much, much, much colder than here. They look like they're just doing fine. Huh, hi bud. You can come over and say hi today? He's gotta come to, to me. Come on, bud, it's okay. It's okay. There you go. See? You'll sniff me and probably run away. Hey, good boy. Hey, what's up, Elvis? And his partner, Littlefoot. They're all good. They have made one really, really nice herd. They all get along and everything. They'll play and the llamas will wrestle. The cows will do the thing with their horns with each other. And even they'll play between themselves. What's funny is that Dolly over there, she's right there there and littlefoot the white llama they actually get along really well they'll chase each other around and stuff it's pretty fun but you can tell it's all in good fun and just it's just cool to see there's got to be a better way to do this because this sucks now most people say, oh, go get a tractor. I don't want a tractor. 
Don't want a tractor, why? Because I'll probably use a tractor. I need a tractor for probably about this many days a year. So that means that I don't want to go buy some real expensive one because I'm not really going to use it very much. But I also don't want to go get an old, cheap, used one because I'm not mechanically inclined at all and, you know, they have problems and I just won't even know where to start with it. So I'd end up having to take it somewhere, have somebody come out and just, just cause more of an issue than anything. And remember, my last name's Murphy. The law is going to catch up with me to where the day that I need it, it's not going to work. So next year, might go square bales, might get an ATV and do a bale on roller like one of Greg, Greg Judy's. This, this ain't happening again next year. There's no way. I want to find a solution. ATV I'll use for multiple things because, you know, I use the mower kind of just to ride out the cows sometimes when they're far away. But but a tractor I'll probably use for like five days a year to be honest with you. Because I'd use it to unload hay, I'd use it to move hay to where I need it, and then maybe move hay again to where I need it. Don't really have a use for one. I mean, maybe use a front end loader for something. But yeah, that's, that's about it. I can do everything here without one. And sure, would it make my life easier? I don't know. <laughs> Just because I'm not mechanically inclined at all and I just wouldn't know where to start if it broke down or if it stopped working or whatever. The maintenance on it, the whatever. You see, this year my friend across the street offered to come help me move him around with his tractor. That's really, really nice, but I don't want to have to depend on that ever again. And I don't want to feel like I'm taking advantage or anything like that. So, got to figure out something for next year. Might do square bales, a little more expensive, a lot easier to move around, easier to store. That might be a good option or I get a bail on roller with an ATV. Just don't want a tractor. That's just my thing. Just don't want a tractor, okay? Another tip, if you're shooting YouTube videos, don't do a transition with a little snowball. Why? Well, it probably looks cool. When I go to edit this, it'll probably look cool, but when I throw it and then I have to wipe off the lens and everything, it kind of sucks. Don't do that again. Cows are fed. They have enough here to just supplement them. It's just supplemental, you know, hay that they could use. But out there, they have more than enough. Oh, 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 ooh, is he tall enough? Is he tall enough? Come on, Jordan, almost there. He might be tall enough now, he might be. He just might be, I don't know. Come on, Jordan. I've been waiting for this for a long time. He's gonna follow Ellie everywhere now. For a little while there, I actually thought Ellie was pregnant. Cause you look at her, she's pretty big, but that's just her frame. Now Jordan is gonna follow her everywhere today. Come on, dude. You can do it. Just jump, just jump a little bit, okay? Just not tall enough here. Maybe he's gonna do it again right now. They're gonna smack horns. Come on, come on, dude, go for it. Now let's go get them set up for tomorrow's move. You see, they are at the end of this side of the farm. And what that means is, is that they're not gonna come here because there's just not enough grass here. It's just too small and and the llamas were here a little bit too long and there hasn't been enough rest time in between for me to feel comfortable bring them bringing them back through here so they're gonna jump over to this side of the farm now and what I have to do is I have to go put in uh, I have to go finish putting in our lane over there the and then I want to go put in the paddocks like I've been so I'm gonna get started on that probably just gonna lay it out today because the ground is just it's just cold out here and I can easily get it all done tomorrow when it's a lot warmer but just want to get it set up and started just because, you know, I have the time right now. Well, the cows are all happy now because I went and dumped out a whole bunch of alfalfa pellets for them. About uh, three quarters of a bucket full just along the fence line here. Just to give them a little bit of protein after the snow. So, Jordan? Do your job, bud. Okay? Look, even Strawberry is getting some alfalfa pellets. Normally they kick her out of the way, but when I spread it out this far, everybody gets some. Hi, Ellie. She takes it out of my hand. She goes, I don't want it off the floor, I want it out of your hand. You too, Dolly. You're good. They're all really good cows. And Tiger's extremely pretty. But after our first snow, we made it through just fine. No issues, no problem. Didn't know, didn't necessarily know what to expect because just having never dealt with something like this before. But so far, so good. It's pretty cool. A little bit chilly, that's why I go double layer. But for the most part, we're all good. I don't think the, the cows mind the snow too much. It's gone about now, you know. Been out here about an hour. You can see, snow is basically gone. All gone. Look, there's no snow over there anymore. So Dolly, you're a good looking cow. Huh? You're, good look you're a good looking girl. 
You say, do you have alfalfa pellets? No, you don't. I don't want anything to do with you. What's crazy is that the llamas don't go for them at all. The llamas don't go for them at all. So with that, I think I'm gonna head inside, get a little bit warm, eat some breakfast, and get the day going. So if you're brand new here, hit that subscribe button down below, ring the notification bell so you get notified when we put up new videos. Hit the like button because it really helps with the YouTube algorithm and drop a comment if you like, all right? Till next time, see ya, bye.